Don Lemon, the co-host of CNN This Morning, is parting ways with the network after 17 years. Uh, CNN chairman and CEO Chris Licht releasing a statement saying, in part, Don will forever be part of the CNN family. And Don also responding on Twitter. Don will forever be part of the CNN family. I, don't know, I mean, usually when you get kicked out of families, you're not part of them anymore. Still, breaking news somewhat. Don Lemon is out at CNN. We just talked about Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. Now Don Lemon, what's going on today? It's just a Monday. Usually things happen at the end of a week. Something happened over the weekend. Many things. According to Don Lemon, this is what happened over the weekend. He tweeted this out. I was informed this morning by, by my agent that I've been terminated by CNN. I'm stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I've loved at the network. It's clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I wanna thank my colleagues and the many teams I've worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business and I wish them all the best. Uh, you know, I mean, he starts by some in info and then a little bit of stress there in the middle about what they did or did not tell him, but also he wants his colleagues to be very happy with what was going on. Uh, CNN folks there took note of that because originally they did say, you know, see you later, Don, hope all the best for you, as they pointed out there, is what they said after they saw his statement. Don will forever be part of the CNN family. Oh, so this is the original statement. I'm sorry. This is the original statement. Don will forever be part of the CNN family. And we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. That's what the CEO, Chris Licht, said. We wish him well and will be cheering him on in his future endeavors. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Now that they saw his, uh, his uh, tweet there talking about how he wasn't told, he wasn't notified, I wish someone would have told me, look at these bastards. They responded. Don Lemon's statement about this morning's events is inaccurate. He was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. Damn, it's getting a little bit salty around here, Burbank. There's so much more. Don, uh, Donald Trump also responded, as you can imagine, uh, how he may have. But first, pause. What's your thoughts, Burbank? Well, you know what they say, JR. When life gives you lemons, you write up a little statement on Microsoft Word, you screenshot that thing, you post it on Twitter, and you beef with your former employer. I mean, <laughs> Don's doing all of the things right. A lot of people are speculating, you know, where did this come from? I mean, I can understand Tucker Carlson. There's this whole lawsuit situation happening. But what did Don Lemon do? First of all, you're setting the bar really high with a lawsuit over election integrity. But uh, mm -hmm. we covered just two weeks ago, you and I, JR, on the show, that Don Lemon was caught on a hot mic criticizing Jon Stewart for questioning the Department of Defense failing audits. Uh, he wasn't doing things super cleanly, and maybe people didn't know that maybe things were rocky for him at CNN because they weren't watching his show very much. A lot of people are talking about TV ratings, that Don Lemon didn't have great ratings despite being a household name. So it could be something you know, extremely mundane. But it's interesting that someone can have that much of a cultural impact, be that much of a household name, and still not be someone people are consistently watching. I wonder what it is, because, again, there was also the Nikki Haley thing, which we'll get to in a second, because maybe a reminder mm -hmm. of that really fast, because this is what Trump had to say over on Truth Social. He says, good news. Wow. Quote, the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon, has finally been fired from fake news CNN. My only question is, what took them so long? Uh, to which, I mean, you have I get it. You're supposed to go after the guy you didn't like. Um, but if he's the dumbest and biggest liar ever on cable news and he's on a CNN, which you also call fake news, shouldn't that stay together? What would be the reason for firing the dumbest and biggest liar for a network that's dumb and lies? It's just a small thing. Does that make sense? But still, that's his response to everything that's happening. And I mentioned uh, the Nikki Haley because I had actually forgotten. I was trying to remember the second thing that Don Lemon had done that potentially got him in this hot water. And yeah, it was the John Stewart thing. That's actually a good point about the defense uh, uh, spending that he was going after. Um, and Don Lemon didn't really like his approach and the way that he fought back with this official. But really fast, just to jog y'all's memories on the Nikki Haley line. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and Maybe 40s. What are you talking about? That's not according to me. Prime for what? Oh, no. And he was already on that show with, uh, you know, he's a, a couple of the anchors. And he used to have a, a, his own show in, in the evening. I'm not sure if they doubled him up. I'm sorry. I didn't know the full lineup that's happening there at CNN. 
but it seemed like he was getting shifted in different places already, had that little hiatus over that remark, and then came back. And people weren't really sure if it would last that long. It really could have been the continuation of those other issues. One more part. Let's look at this headline here. Um, graphic 5 here, you guys, uh, from Variety. They also point out that his misogyny at CNN was exposed at one point. Malicious texts, mocking female co-workers, and diva-like behavior. But there's one thing about that, though, Jess. Um, I feel like it's kind of, I don't want to say it, that's so normal, but it's pretty standard when it comes to uh, folks that are on air at these big networks, uh, celebrities, stars, anyone that's in these positions, you'll see them many times uh, treat other folks that they deem as subordinates like garbage, tell them not to look at them and things like that, um, but also having diva-like behavior. So that part, maybe it's a piece of it, but I doubt it's really the main reason. Yeah, at this point, it would be fascinating for CNN to just be extremely transparent about what went down and why Don Lemon was fired. I mean, now it's a whole public thing. There's all this speculation. I think it would be in their interest to clear things up and say, listen, we we did X, Y, and Z for this reason. We think it's the right thing. Because imagine being those two anchors sitting on either side of him, uh, both women. And he's saying that Nikki Haley is past her prime when most people would say, uh, she's just approaching the prime of, of a career in politics. That's what you would say for, for a man at that stage in, in his career as well. So I can't imagine they left that broadcast particularly happy about what Don Lemon had said. I'm sure that plays a role. Uh, but then also all of this behind the scenes stuff that we didn't even see on air. It's not surprising when you say something that misogynistic on air. What is he saying off air? What is he saying in text messages? Mm -hmm. It's really not at all surprising. And we know that this is a pretty male dominated industry. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. And maybe CNN wasn't actually being proactive. It's just we haven't heard about what's been going on. Well, we also know that uh, I think with the new leadership there, there's a little bit of more of a trying to gear it more to the right, or at least the perception of it being geared to the right. And this, uh, let's look at this link here from uh, Aaron Rupar, Graphic 9, you guys. Maybe this played a role. This is what he's saying, at least. So according to the New York Times, this interview that we saw last week with Don Lemon uh, going after Vivek Ramaswamy, they said that played a role in his firing. And he pointed out that co-host Poppy Harlow sat there silently while Lemon was battling with Vivek. Now, by the way, this was an interaction, in case you guys didn't see it, where Ramaswamy was talking about the history of the country and how the Second Amendment rights came so you can actually help black folks get out of slavery and all this nonsense. And Don Lemon actually was right on all this and was pushing back on him pretty angrily and dismissive because the things that Ramaswamy was saying was stupid. But he went after him in that way, and maybe that played a role because of the direction they want to go or the disrespect uh, given towards a Republican presidential candidate no matter the fact that he's polling at 0.1%, it doesn't matter. They're probably concerned with this cooling other folks coming on. What if you come on CNN Airways and you lie in front of Don Lemon? He just might push back. Who knows? Um, maybe Don Lemon will reveal more things as he finds out.